You never know how God is going to use you to influence the influencers. What's going on, church fam? It's Church Life bringing y'all another video. I pray y'all are having a blessed day. So, I had a dream a while ago about being a light in a dark place. In the dream, it was a bunch of celebrities, a bunch of YouTubers, and the Heavenly Father said, this is why I need you to be set apart so you can help lead the lost because most of these people aren't bad. It's just that they're in an environment where, let, let's say it like this. Let's say you're a good person at heart, right? But the stuff that you surround yourself with keeps you kind of adapting to their personalities. So you speak a certain way and you might act a certain way based upon how they're acting or how they're talking. And so the Heavenly Father in the dream said, I must be set apart in order to be a light in a dark place. And in the dream, it was a lady that was singing. She was singing. And what's crazy about it, Tupac was in the dream. And she was a light in a dark place for Tupac. And here's what's crazy about it, y'all. Sometimes people talk against gospel rap. You get what I'm saying? And most of the time, it be fellow believers. But you never know how the Heavenly Father might be using that person's talent to help save someone, to help someone get on the right path, the right track. Because God can use anything. Everything in the world belongs to the Most High God. So we can't have a closed mind and heart towards something that you might not like. But nevertheless, in the dream, God was using the lady that was singing to be a light in a dark place for people that's in the music industry. And the Heavenly Father was using me to be a light in a dark place for people that's in the entertainment business or whatever, or in the YouTube world. It was mainly the YouTube world. And it was kind of wild, y'all. And that's why I don't talk about people or, you know, get into that gossip about what people got going on in the industry. Because I always look at the situation like this. Okay, if I want to be a light in a dark place, what's the best way to do it? I talked to the Heavenly Father. I asked the Heavenly Father, what's the best way to be a light in a dark place? Because if I'm just criticizing them about every single thing they're doing wrong, how is that going to edify them in the spirit? Because they, uh, most of the time, I'm going to be real with you, most of the time, people already know what they're doing wrong. They might even say it in a video. You know, when it come down to certain YouTubers, they might say, yeah, I know this is wrong. I know that is wrong. So when, when, when I recognize that, right, what I be thinking to, to myself is, okay, it's better to lead by example. Let's say the Heavenly Father do put you in a place of power. You know, he put you on the upper end of YouTube. You get what I'm saying? And then, you know, they see how you do your vlogs. They see how you conduct yourself around people. They see how you speak. And not only are you speaking it, you're actually living it. You're keeping your integrity. You're keeping your faith around anybody you around. They might be doing one thing, but you're being set apart and you're just doing what the Heavenly Father called you to do. Let's say if they see that, it might inspire them to want to change. But if they find videos or they find stuff that you're saying about them and all that kind of stuff, it might make them not want to give the Heavenly Father a shot. It might make them close their heart or harden their heart toward the Heavenly Father based upon the words you say. Because words definitely do have power. So the point of this, right, is there is YouTubers and stuff that I pray for. And sometimes I check out a video to see how they doing. I just check out a video to see how they doing, right? Because I can see something. 
You get what I'm saying? Because here's the craziest part about it, y'all. Sometimes people close their minds off and their hearts off toward people that's living in the world. As if they didn't used to live in the world themselves. And so it becomes more so judgmental toward others instead of edifying in the spirit for real. Because when you speak the general truth, that's for anyone who wants to listen. But if you pointing fingers, calling out people, that's like more so judgmental. But anyway, I went on a particular YouTuber page, right? To see how they doing and stuff like that. Because sometimes, you know, it's hard to miss certain things because it might pop up on your timeline anyway. You know what I'm saying? So I went to their page, right? And they started the video off preaching the gospel. They was working out. They was preaching the gospel. Now, I don't know if this person have seen any of my videos, but here's the craziest part about it, y'all. When he was talking to the guy he was working out with, he said, let me show you the type of videos I be watching. So in the video, now this is a big time YouTuber now. In the video, they scrolling. And he's showing, he's showing his homeboy like, yeah, this is the type of videos I, I look at. And how about I saw one of my videos in the guy phone. And the video was talking about spiritual warfare. It's on my other channel. Y'all, that's why I try to be careful with my words when it comes down to talking about the industry or whatever the case may be. That's why I don't pinpoint people to talk about. I just keep it in the word of God. And what I try to do is lead by example. Now, it, there's still things that the father is working on me with, but you never know. The point of this video is this. You never know who's watching you. You never know how you're helping someone become a better person. You never know. Lord Jesus said it best. Before you call somebody else out, Make sure you clean the own, your own speck out of your eye. That's kind of wild, y'all. And I've been kind of thinking about that all day, man. You never know who watching you. So that's why I just try to stick to the truth of what God say. Because at the end of the day, we all have been in a dark place. We all have lived in sin. We all are fighting in this battle together, believe it or not. Because at the end of the day, it's the adversary that causes the spiritual warfare in our lives. And Lord Jesus said, you must pray because that's our tools to fight. And you must fast because that's how you overcome the flesh because the devil is always gonna attack you with tangible stuff. Let's say if you wanna change, right? You wanna become a better person. But at the same time, it's hard for you to change. And you start asking yourself, why come I can't change? Nine times out of 10, it's your environment. It's the stuff you keep around. It's the patterns or the routine that you keep, you keep allowing yourself to participate in. If it's hard for you to get off of drugs and stuff, nine times out of 10, you might be around people that still participate in that even though you want to quit. If it's hard for you to stop drinking, you might be in, in an environment that promotes drinking to get drunk. If it's hard for you to stop watching those bad sites, let's think about how long you be on your devices at night because most of the time that's when people watch it at night and you might not be getting no sleep. So over the course of time, you get bored and then you be like, man, let me check this site out. It's the patterns, the routines. It's the environment. Sometimes it's the people we hang, hang around. Sometimes we might be going through something emotionally, so we try to cope with life by drowning our problems with more problems. 
See, the solution to becoming a better person and changing overall is change your routines, change your environment. Because when you do that, when you allow the Heavenly Father to bring you to the wilderness, and that's him setting you apart from himself so you could be a light in a dark place, that's when you're going to start changing. The only reason I got this far in life is because the Heavenly Father separated me from the familiar place. And the reason why God separated me from the familiar place is because if I was to learn something different, I had to experience something new. But you can't experience something new if you're still in a familiar environment doing the same stuff that you always do. So to bring this video all the way together is to let you know, in order to be a light in a dark place, we got to remember where God brought us out of. God brought us out of the land of familiar for this purpose alone. And that's to help the lost. It ain't about pointing fingers, y'all. If anything, point the finger at yourself. Understand the stuff you still struggle with. And give it to God so he can help you overcome it. Because at the end of the day, the devil wants us to fight against each other instead of help each other. See, what's wild about this is I pray for a lot of people, believe it or not, y'all. And just the other day, right? It was like a couple of days ago. It was like I felt the Heavenly Father speaking to me, right? And this is what I heard. One day, I'm going to put you around influencers so you could be a light in a dark place. So the dream happened probably like last month or something like that, right? And I did a video about it. I forgot what I titled it, though. But I did a video about that. And then a couple of days ago, the Heavenly Father said, I'm going to put you around influencers. And when that happens, I'm going to use you to be a light in a dark place. I'm going to use you so you can uplift them, encourage them, help them get on the right path, help them overcome their depression, their anxiety, help them not give up. That's what the Father was speaking to me in my spirit. And then after that happened, right, I, I say it was a day later, I get on YouTube, video pop up. He start the video off by saying, yeah, you got to feed your mind, man, because at the end of the day, the enemy, he, he was basically talking about how the enemy attacks when, you know, you ain't doing nothing. So you got to watch stuff that encourages you. You got to keep continue to feed your mind the good stuff instead of all this junk, basically. And, you know, that stuff I talk about all the time. But he started showing the guy the videos he watched. He was like, yeah, let me show you the videos I be watching. And then I saw one of my videos on his phone. I said, whoa, what? It was wild, y'all. It was wild. It was wild. It was wild. You never know who watching. Let God take you out of your comfort zone. For real. Be different on purpose. For that's how you be a light in a dark place. Be set apart. Don't follow the trends. Don't try to copy what everybody else is doing just because it's working for them. Be who God created you to be. Set an example by how you live your everyday life. Remember where God brought you from. The only reason we're in the positions that we're in now it's because what God brought us out of. It just became a testimony. And that testimony, the purpose for our testimony is to glorify God and let people know you're not alone. I've been through similar situations. You've been through similar situations. Some people been through worse situations. But the moral of the story is we all have been through something. So let's start using these platforms to really, really Reach people that's lost, that wants help, though. Because at the end of the day, you got to want it. You got to make up your mind to want to change at the end of the day. It's not up to us to make you change. You got to want the help. You know when God is tugging at your heart. You know when God is talking to you.
because you'll get this feeling in your soul. I shouldn't be doing this. It's time for me to switch this up. And then those late nights when you're crying, that's when you know it's real. <laughs> that's all I've said. It's time to change. But if it's hard to change, most likely it's because the, the environment that's attached to a certain routine that you live every day. And those routines become our patterns. We got to change the pattern, y'all. We got to change the pattern. God wants to use us in a mighty way, y'all. But the devil plans is to try to break us down before we get to that destination where God is leading us toward. The devil wants to break us down, y'all. He wants to make us tired in our soul. So that's why we got to wait upon the Lord. That's why we can't go ahead of God. Because if we don't wait upon the Lord, how can we renew our strength? See, when you abide in the Lord, he is the one who is going to replenish your strength to keep going. You know, sometimes we got to take those rest stops so we can recuperate and keep going because it's going to be challenges along the way that become obstacles. But every time you get across that obstacle, you get closer to the destination. And once you get to the destination, the view going to be beautiful. That's all I'm trying to say. But let God use you in a mighty way. And also don't frown about where someone is at in life. Yeah, they might not be doing what you want them to do. Yeah, they might be making certain music that goes against the Heavenly Father. But at the same time, if you remember where God brought you out of, then that should be the hope to let you know, okay, if I do and say what the Father is telling me to say, they can change as well. Because I remember where I come from. And also... Don't frown about gospel rap music. It might not be for you because remember, at the end of the day, it's about helping the lost. Some people love rap music. So let the Heavenly Father use that person to glorify his name with the gift that God has given them because all things, all good things come from above. It's not about what we like. It's about glorifying the Heavenly Father. Being a light in a dark place might not always fit your description of how a believer should look or be. As long as they're being set apart, that's what it truly means to be a true disciple of Christ. He said, when you love one another, that's how the world know you're his disciples. So let God use you in a mighty way. Don't close your heart off toward people just because they look this way or they act this way. You never know how God is going to use you to influence the influencers. Stop pointing out people because everybody has done wrong. We got to speak about this in a general sense from a point of view of this is what helped me get out of this situation. This is how I overcame that situation. God spared my life because I was obedient to his instructions on what he called me to do. You get what I'm saying? That's how God want to use you. Let love be the forefront of your message. Don't let hatred cause you to become so judgmental that you don't even deal with people because that's what the Pharisees did. Lord Jesus called them hypocrites. Don't be a hypocrite. Sometimes you got to reflect. That's the moral of the story. You got to reflect on everything so you can remember to not point the finger. But I just wanted to get up here to share that that was wild, y'all. When I saw that person literally could possibly be looking at my videos, and I'm talking about this is like a big time influencer, YouTuber. When I saw that, it, it just, it just, it, because here's, here's another part too, y'all. Sometimes you could feel like stuff ain't really working. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you can get to a place where you're in your own head and you're wondering if God is using you. And I was kind of in that mindset because for some reason I was just feeling down in my spirit, y'all. And then the Heavenly Father said those words to me two days before I saw that video. So it's wild how the Heavenly Father will give you confirmation about certain stuff that he has spoken to you. See, when God speaks something to you, he always follow it up with confirmation. It's always followed by confirmation. 
So God going to reaffirm everything that he said to you. You just got to believe it. Got to have faith. And most importantly, love. I pray this word bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. I love y'all.